On the overlay page, you can organize your motion graphics into a grid. To edit or add a new motion graphic, tap the Edit button on the left side of the screen. This way, we are in the Edit mode and can select a new tile, like this. Now we can see on the right hand that we have a new option to add a file. Again, you can import videos via your photo library or via files. Now you can select your file like this. The tile is automatically named like the file was named, but you can always edit this. And then there are three playback modes. You can select between once, loop and split. Loop is best used for logo on the right hand side of the screen or something like this. Press it and it will repeat itself. If you want to stop it, simply press again. Split is best used for lower third, for example. This way you can press it once and it plays the first clip until it flashes and shows me, okay, I need to interact. If I press again, the second video will play. Going back to the edit mode of our new overlay, we can see that we have a transition option. On a transition, you can select between cut and fade. Fade fades in the uh, overlay and you can select the timing for that. On the file, we can see the imported file and we have the option to add alpha. This means you can import a Luma mask. This is quite essential for overlays to work. We use the Luma mask to cut out our motion graphics and use the Kia of the Artem to make overlays possible. I hope you got a good idea about the features of LiveApp. The next video will focus more on how to set up for your production.